hair, girl. This hair looking good if I do say so myself. Just pat it down. You know how we do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello everyone, your girl Samantha Gomez here. It has been a minute since I sat down, crossed my legs, and done a video. I wanted to come and do an update. As many of you know, I did a BC, my second BC, about three months ago, and my hair has grown so much. So, when I cut my hair, I cut it in the shape of, like, almost, not a bob, What's it called? Guys, 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 help me out, help me out, help me out. The top was a little bit longer, the back was a little bit more tapered, but as you can see now, like, I pat it down to kind of give it that look still, but it ain't tapered anymore. The back is long. My back is basically the same length as my top, and I have, like, just a little cute little fro going on, if I do say so myself. I have been taking care of it a lot better. So I wanted to come to you guys, show you guys some of the products that I've been using, some of the things that I've been loving, and also share how I've grown back a little bit of my edges. My edges were really, really, really bad. It looked as though I wore lace front or wigs with glue 24 seven, which I never did, but I did pull my hair back a lot in like high ponytails and such when it was a little bit longer. So I wanted to come again, share with you guys some of the products that I'm loving, some of the things that I believe have helped my hair grow, and um, yeah, you know, talk, just catch up. So for my shampoo and conditioner, what I've been using is the Tresemme line, the Naturals. This is the Nourishing Moisture Shampoo. And believe me when I say this is moisturizing. Most of the time when I use shampoo on my hair, I find that after you shampoo and you rinse your hair, your hair feels so brittle, almost like it's going to break if you were to bend a strand. But with this, I find that even after I shampoo, my hair still has the moisture locked into it. So this stuff, is amazing. I get it at Walmart for probably like $4.97, very cheap. And then to follow up, I have the same brand, same naturals line, the conditioner. This is a nourishing moisture conditioner. And this again, four or five dollars. Amazing. I love this. When I use my wide tooth comb to detangle my hair and I have this in, it's like silk. It's just so slidey and glidey and slippery and nice. For $10, I get these humongous bottles and they last so long. Great, great, great products. So my hair isn't very thick. I find that in my journey and the reason why I decided to cut my hair for the second time is because my hair was getting long but it wasn't looking full and I think that's genetics my mom doesn't have very thick hair so I wanted to see uh, this time around when growing my hair I'm not really necessarily looking for length but I'm more so looking for healthy fuller hair and I believe that something that has helped is this thick and full biotin and collagen conditioner I got this when I went over to the states hopefully you guys can see that focus just come on do a little focus thing for me baby this stuff is great I find that my hair feels full and thick just like it says on it and it was very affordable got it at Walmart or Target, maybe Target, and again, under five bucks, this is great. My bottle's nearly empty, and it doesn't even smell bad. I kind of like the smell. I don't know, I just thought that like some type of biotin and collagen type of conditioner would smell like nasty and just medicated, but it doesn't. It smells really, really good, and I've been using this occasionally. If I'm not using that other conditioner that I showed you from the Naturals line, then I'll use this, and I find again, after I shower, my hair looks and feels a lot thicker. I am super lazy, guys. I am more of a wash and go type of girl. This is like a maybe like a three day old wash and go, but I kind of combed it out a little bit to give it more volume. But when I do do twists and braid outs, I use the Shea Butter for Naturals Hair Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel. I love this stuff. I like the consistency of it, and more so, I love the smell. It smells like life. It smells like life, basically. It's really, really, really good and it holds my twist but it doesn't give like a stiff type of look so I get the hold but not the stiffness and it is kind of like a cottage cheese consistency 
I couldn't think of anything better, guys. So it's like a cottage cheese consistency, as you can see. It kind of looks like cottage cheese, but it's very, very moisturizing. Even when I put it on my hand right now, let me put it in the crease of my hand where it gets dry, girl. You know how we get dry right here. And it's really, really nice and moisturizing. It's not sticky. I love this stuff. I got it from my beauty supply store. I want to say it was like maybe like seven dollars or so and I've had this for quite some time and I am only not even a quarter of the way done but then again I barely do twists and braid outs because again I'm lazy I am that girl that does the wash and goes and what I've been using lately is my eco styler gel I have the kinky curly line and I've been using that but girl that stuff is expensive so I wanted to find an alternative where I can get the same type of results but not spend the same type of money and this stuff is the bomb I just used to use these when I used to do like high ponytails to slick down my edges and such but I use this for my wash and goes I will wash shampoo condition my hair come out of the shower put a little bit of leave-in conditioner, then I'll rake this through my hair and also comb it through with a wide tooth comb to evenly distribute the product. And after that, I will seal in with a moisture, or not a moisturizer, excuse me, like an oil, usually like an olive oil. And I'm telling you guys, I get the same type of look with my kinky curly line, but it is a fraction of the price. And it doesn't come out where it's too stiff and too like hard to manage the next day I find the curls look bomb and yeah so my girl $4.99 beauty supply store for this big nutty bottle 946 milliliters you cannot go wrong and finally what I wanted to share with you guys is what I believe has grown back my edges and also my brows girl my brows are filled in right now so you can't tell but I am promising you that there was a spot here in this brow that would not grow but I had hair before I don't know what happened it's like I burned it off or something it just would not grow back and I heard a lot of people talking about this stuff and I'm like you know what let me just try it so I bought castor oil I've been using it on my edges my edges guys I know they still look very thin but I promise you this is like they're so much better than they were before before I promise you like I was bald all the way up to here like here right here where my finger is no okay I'm lying I just barely had hair on my edges and since I haven't been pulling it back as much because I used to do a lot of ponytail styles and leaving my hair out and using this every single night on both my edges and my brows I'm finding that it is really working I know a lot of people say they use the um, black castor oil but I'm just using this one from Hollywood Beauty it was $4.99 it is a little thick that's one thing I can say and especially for people that have thinner hair like myself I don't like to use too much because I don't want to weigh down my hair so I'll put like a little bit in my hand like this and I don't push it back too much but I more so kind of like rub my fingers in the scalp to moisturize it and I'm telling you girl this stuff has been working for me so these are the products I've been using and I think that a lot of these products have contributed to why my hair is growing at the rate it is I am kind of in between stages like I like my hair still but I don't like how the sides are growing out so much I kind of want to cut it but I know my husband would have a hissy fit and I'm not about that life so I may do a protective style soon if I do I'll come back and I'll share that protective style with you show you how I install if you guys haven't seen my last video I did a video where I installed some Havana slash Marley twist on one of my friends make sure to check that out thank you guys so much for watching this video try out some of these products let me know if you have any product recommendations that have helped grow your hair help to make your hair look fuller and sexy and voluptuous and all that jazz. Thanks guys so much for watching this video and I will see you on my next one. Bye! I'm gonna take the Marley hair and wrap it around her hair. Now I have the two strands of the Marley hair in my left hand and her hair